These days, it's more ghost town than airport. It's different, definitely. So word that Canada's busiest airport was cutting a quarter of its workforce, not exactly a surprise. In a statement, Toronto Pearson called the cuts a difficult but necessary step because the reduced activity is having a significant negative impact on the airport's business. Passenger numbers at Pearson were down 97% in April from the year before. It's the same story at other airports across the country, with both Vancouver and Calgary making similar job cuts earlier in the pandemic. Things were supposed to be getting better by now, but a resurgence of COVID-19 cases, especially in the U.S., has thrown that plan off course. Delta Airlines had added 1,000 flights this summer in anticipation of demand picking back up. Today, it cut those flights and announced a second quarter net loss of $5.7 billion. The demand has stalled as the virus has grown, particularly down here in the south uh, across the Sun Belt, coupled with the quarantine measures that are going in place in many of the northern states. So those two factors are causing consumers to pause. In Canada, there are renewed calls for the government to step in with a bailout. We're going to need an industry to get back to uh, once we've found a, a solution for COVID-19. But when cases do ease and restrictions lift, some wonder if air travel will actually follow suit. What we're doing right now, you, using video conferencing platform, I'm not sure the extent to which we will jump on the opportunity to travel like maybe we did before. Although she says air travel did come back after 9-11 and ultimately soared to record levels. So it is possible that could happen again this time, eventually. Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Toronto.